if your definition of fun is watching Korean movies like my roommate, okay, I mean, why would you want to do that? Okay, fine, you can do it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and thank you so much for tuning in. So I take it you read the title. Yeah, I'm going to talk about six things that I wish I knew about medical school before I got into medical school. So as you guys know, I am doing my second year direct entry at the University of Lusaka in Zambia. And yeah, let's begin. The first thing that you should know is that you are going to be able to have fun in medical school. Oh my God! Wow! It's not going to be a deep, dark, depressing hole of depression. Just the simple fact that you're studying something that you like is going to be exciting for you. Like you're not going to be depressed. I promise you, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it sounds difficult, but I managed to have more fun in the last year than I've had like my previous years. There is time to enjoy yourself. Now, of course, your definition of fun might differ from the next person. If your definition of fun is like going out, you can still do it, of course. If your definition of fun is watching Korean movies like my roommate, okay, I mean, why would you want to do that? Okay, fine, you can do it. <laughs> Second point, medicine is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Let me explain. You are supposed to pace yourself and understand that you can definitely burn out if you're not careful. My first semester of medicine, I used to go to sleep at 2 o'clock in the morning and I used to wake up like at 6 and I would do that every single day. Every single day. And I burnt out pretty quickly and you can't sustain that for 5 years. In A-levels, you can sustain it because it's only a pit stop, right? It's supposed to be a year or two years, but you're supposed to have a much more reasonable study um, routine. Definitely do not burn yourself out. Definitely understand that it is not going to be what you see on Grey's Anatomy. Like real life medicine, if you're going to be doing it in Africa, that is. There are going to be a few challenges and you have to be ready for them. I was expecting the full Grey's Anatomy um, experience. Fourth point is you're going to make a mistake. You're going to fail something. Like you're going to fail something. Whether it be a test or a lab practical. Do, do not expect to get 100% on everything. You are going to fail something. Oops. And that is to be expected. That is normal because... It's a lot. It's like, it's 10 courses. We're not doing PPO right now. It used to be 11, but it's 10 courses and it's one of you. It's only you against 10 courses. So as long as you're making sure to be juggling the balls properly, then you have nothing to stress about. At number five, you have to be consistent with your studying. You have to be consistent with your schoolwork. You have to make sure you do your, your CA is so important. It's like 40, depending on which school you're at, but I'm pretty sure universally it's 40 CA and the exam is 60. So you're supposed to take your CA very seriously because you don't want to be that person with a CA of three. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a CF 3 out of 40. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. And you're just freaking out the night before the exam. Like I was saying, it's like the sub analogy. Like, if you have a very long subway sandwich, like remember the subway sandwich, and it has like, it's like three kilometers, and you're supposed to eat it. You can't finish it in one serving, obviously, but you can finish it if you're consistent about eating a portion of it each day and that's what you have to do with medical school you have to be consistent and you have to bite off a little part of your syllabus each day it's very bulky but as long as you're consistent and you're taking you know you're making sure to study a certain amount of your work each day you're gonna be okay like honestly it's not gonna be a big deal you're not gonna suffer for like that then my last point is medical school is not a competition now depending on your pre-med situation for me my pre-med situation was very competitive and i ended up bringing that competitive competitive mentality into medical school and that's just not how you're supposed to do things the people in your class the people around you are not there to compete with you they're there to learn with you grow with you it is 
it's sort of like a family if you want to look at it like that so definitely use each other like use your classmates use your friends who are in your class and help each other out you know if you can't figure out how to do a lab ask for permission if you didn't understand the concept ask your friends like use your friends it's a great thing that you have so many classmates because they will help you out they will help you out so anyways that was supposed to be a short video six things i wish i knew about medical school before i got into medical school and yeah just make keep in mind that you're gonna be able to have fun and you are you know not supposed to compete with your classmates you have to be consistent and it's a marathon it's not a sprint pace yourself don't burn out because you think you can get 100 percent in every test you cannot but you can try if you are consistent okay so thank you so much for watching this video definitely feel free to like this video comment underneath it and subscribe to this channel if you liked what i was talking about and follow me on social media i have a twitter uh instagram and now tiktok and i will link those in my description box below so yes thank you so much for watching see you next time Bye. oh my god <laughs>